So we've seen the mechanics of creating a variable and then using that variable in your report. How about one that actually does some work? So let's have a look at the item sold report and look at adding in a formula that uses a variable that will work out the sales per quarter. So we'll give us effectively a running total of sales per quarter. Let's add ourselves a new formula field. We'll call this quarter one. So it'll work out the sales for the first quarter of the year. The first thing I need to do is declare the variable. So it's going to be a currency var. So it's going to be sales and a nice short name of Q1 semicolon. Then I need to figure out if the sale that I'm dealing with is in quarter one. So let's use the date part function Q for the date closed equals one then. So if the quarter value for date closed equals one, i.e. we're in the first quarter of the year, then what I want to happen is I want Q1 to effectively increment. So colon equals Q1 plus the current price times current quantity. Semicolon. Else value of Q1 will just carry on being the value of Q1. So we go on. Let's check that. Okay. The reason for that is our semicolons here are not applicable. They effectively run at the end of declaration and assignment lines. Error is found. Save and close. So that's now my little formula quarter one. If I make a bit of space for it, perhaps place it in here. And it is calculating a running total for Q1. Let's change the label. So February is in Q1, so we start to increment quite happily working away there. March still is. And then we hit April, and our Q1 value effectively starts to remain static because that's our Q1 total, 88.27. But during Q1, it's incrementing. So you can see that that could be quite. Like Useful, we could create four of those to have four columns for Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4, and they will give us a running total for each of those quarters. We declare the variable and give the variable a name. We then run an if statement to check which Q we are in for the date closed. If it's one, then Q1 equals Q1 plus the basket content price times the basket content current quantity. And the output from this variable is the result of this formula which is q1 place that on the report and quite happily q1 increments but as soon as we hit two three or four we just see the static value for q1 so that's a real application of the potential behind variables 